This is Sawyer. I'm so pleased to meet you. My name is Henry. And your vitals look good. Oh. <laughs> For a woman in her 20s. Oh, liar. Which brings me to my next concern. Your employer notes that you've often been late for work this year. I... If I may. Mm -hmm. Mrs. Sawyer, we will check you in immediately. It's a beautiful room. Everyone is there to help you. Friends, family. And then, in seven days, you'll fall asleep. David was a dilettante. I could have made you proud. You've always made me proud. Is that right? Dad. David was special. He was sick. Just like you. You killed him, you little shit! I should show you sometime. Got the drive here in my pocket. You want to plug it in, you son of a bitch? I, I know that I have a long way to go as an artist. I'll give it serious consideration. <laughs> don't knock yourself out with compliments, Rosie. I just don't know if you're breaking any new ground. Yes, I am. I mean, are you blind? I, I, this is unique. Uh, this is original. That's enough. I, no, really, Austin. I'm sorry. Get lost. I lied. When I said that I didn't remember you. We were friends. The ranger said that it was a bear attack. I wish that I could believe that. But I can't. I saw something. Something that I can't explain. Something impossible. Chris, we need to stay calm. After what she's done to us, how many of our men are dead because of that bitch? I'm right there with you, Captain. But your personal vendetta isn't gonna get us anywhere. If you hadn't been blinded by vengeance, we could have prevented some of those deaths. Do you even care about our mission anymore? Shut up! I feel sorry for all the men that died believing in you. What happened to the legendary Chris Redfield, huh? What happened to you? It's a good thing Finn's not around to see you this way. 